Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the CCM Axis Catching Glove Initial Review, Feature Review thing, Snapshot Review and comparing it to the CCM Premier 2.9 Catch Glove. So where I borrowed this glove from, I they didn't have a Premier 2 glove so I had to go 2.9 so it's not a direct comparison but you can still see some of the changes um, so I'll talk about those. So quick overview, or I guess I should say teaser thing. I have videos on all these sets, all the access stuff, minus the stick and, well, skates aren't really access. Um, chest protector, multiple videos on chest protector. Helmet, multiple videos on the pads, um, locker, and now catching gloves. So I have videos on all those, check them out. I have some awesome comparison posts on Instagram too, check that out. Um, so anyways, I guess I can kind of just jump into this. Into this. <clears throat> um, this is the CCM Axis Catching Glove. It's a 590 break. You can order it custom in the 600, 590, 580. Um, that's the glove. Looks kind of pretty standard. Closes pretty decently well. Um, my only concern is this is my concern about CCM gloves in the past with a game ready palm. I don't think these say game ready anymore. They that was a little fur thing. Um, but anyways, so I have little tags on the inside. So the padding on the, the glove just wasn't enough for a game ready and I can kind of feel all these like little breaks in the palm That's I question how good the game ready is going to be in an actual game um, If you're an adult or facing harder shots, so I kind of question that but there's the opening to it pretty decent the big thing you'll notice Sorry on this glove. So it's obviously not worked in compared to this one is well big thing I notice is the difference in doesn't have that little binding anymore. So these are now kind of um, binding fit, bindingless face, I want to say. Um, so you, what I mean by that specifically is like the cord. So the pads don't have cords through the face anymore. And this one still does here. That's kind of hard to get away from. Loses it up here. So the cuff shape is pretty similar. Actually, it's probably the same. Feels pretty similar, uh, but it does lose that binding there holding the uh, material in place. That's like honestly the biggest change between besides some materials on it. Also skate lace. I don't know if that's store ordered or not or if that's just like one of the stock sets. Skate lace is always nice to have just so you have a bit more give. Split tee again just like the other ones. All honestly all pretty similar. Um, some the other changes though is on the back. So when we go back here you can see a very different backhand design. So this <clears throat> is in my opinion, the interesting part about the Axis gloves is they have this molded foam kind of backhand stuff right here. So that's kind of hard. That feels like the material that's on the chest plate, on the chest protector a bunch, like it used to be the chest plate of the Premier LE, and on the knees of the well, all CCM pads now. So that change from this backhand, um, interesting take, interesting design. I'm not sure exactly the reasoning behind it, but it should. They say it's more padded. So if you get slash or if a puck hits there when you're in like the back, like if you're VH like this, then that will be more padded, which it, I mean, should be. But so that is the new backhand design. As you can see, everything right there is still covered. It's still just elastic there. So it helps move, which is a pretty good idea. Um, so yeah, so we'll open this up. So besides the, like besides that molded cuff part, the backhand is pretty much the same. Um, not much changes there. Not a ton to report, as you can see. Um, this one looks a little bit different. This is a smaller piece of elastic. Yeah, yeah, it looks a little bit different, smaller. But again, everything's pretty similar. Nothing crazy here. Um, the big change is that molded cuff and kind of the losing that one piece right here. So I would say these are more the same. A lot of people really like CCM gloves, so I can't really discredit or criticize them for that. Um, specifically with like just how their brakes are. I don't, I think the Von V XPs are great and I think they close a little bit better than that. I don't like how this cuff is around it, but that's my personal preference. So won't knock CCM for that. Um, it's decent, it doesn't seal perfectly yet, but out of the box, it's not bad. Again, not a pro palm, that's a game ready palm. Question the protection, but that's about it. So this video, that's about it for that. I can't really talk about protection or anything because I can't wear this. Um, so hopefully it's a little bit helpful. Not a ton of changes on this, basically this and the new back shape, but um, that's kind of it. So anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. 
I swear the blocker pads, chest sector, and helmet video are more interesting. So check those out. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links are in the below and at the end. Um, and if you ever do buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, reach out to manufacturer. Please let them know. That way, hopefully, someday I can use these instead of just talking like this. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.